are you there? Yeah, what is it? What did you find? Nothing yet, because someone tried to trap me in there. You saw someone? No, someone slammed the gate behind me and then ran away. I found another way out, but if I hadn't, Jesus! So you, so you didn't find anything? No, th there's a spot where someone had sunk an anchor, but the hardware's gone now. <sighs> I don't have any climbing equipment. I just have my ropes. I'm gonna hike back to Two Forks and see if I can find anything that could double as an anchor to use in the spot. Well, that doesn't sound dangerous. Delilah, I just found an outcropping that someone was using as a little fort. I think it was Brian Goodwin. Really? Yeah, he built himself a real castle. A bunch of rocks stacked up, he made a wall and a perimeter. <sighs> You know, maybe he made it because he was afraid of them. Whenever I think of Brian possibly going through this crap, I get... I get sick to my stomach. Yeah. Uh, sorry. I mean, he was in the middle of really sprucing up the joint when they left. Oh, little dinosaur. There's some grade-A dork contraband here. You found his pocket protector? Gladius Silva, chaotic, good race, half-elf, class, ranger. Level 4, male, 29, 5'8", weight 135, rugged, black eyes, blue-green, clan, homeworld, uh... I found a, uh, I guess, a data sheet for one Gladius Silva, half-elf, armor seven. Classic wizards and wyverns. Yeah, between this and the map I found in my tower, old Brian created quite the fantasy world. It's a little weird that he just leaves so much of his stuff out here. Well, maybe they were in a hurry when they left. Like I said, he wasn't supposed to be out here. Yeah. I... Uh, they almost got busted. Brian liked to go out on the railing of the tower and wave at the planes that dump water on fires, and... I got a call because someone thought a kid was up in Two Forks. I lied, and just said it was Ned. If I ratted him out, they would have been forced to leave, and... I don't know, I guess I just felt like I was saving him from whatever shitty life Ned was gonna bring him back to. Not that it ended up mattering. Hmm. Huh. Brian stole his dad's climbing gear. His ankle... Hi, my name is Brian Goodwin. If you found this note, it could be a, with a bunch of climbing anchors, I hope. Could you do me a favor and please return them to me, Brian Goodwin, in the mail? My address is 55 Foxtrot Lane, North Platte, Nebraska, 69101. If you tell me your name and address, I will give you a reward for this. You are probably wondering why I left these here. Well, they are my dad's and I don't want him to lose them, but I don't want to do any more climbing on this trip. So I thought I should pretend to lose them. But if you help me get them back, everyone will be happy. Thank you for your time. Thank you, Ranger. Rangers. Brian. P.S. The That's reward convenient. will be good. Yeah, it is. I think he was going to hide them in a cash box or something and never got around to it. I mean, he left a note for a Ranger to find them and, and send them back to him in Nebraska. Because he hated climbing? Yeah. It sounds like Ned was pushing him and pretending to lose his anchors was the easiest way to put a stop to it. I hope it worked. God, what an asshole. Yeah. Man, that is the sort of thing that would have caused me to catch a beating growing up. Yeah, well, I wouldn't put it past old Ned. There's a ham radio schematic here, something Brian was working on. Yeah, uh, I think that was the one thing Ned did do with him. You know, tinkering on stuff like that. It's really cool. This is really detailed stuff. I remember learning this back in school. There's also a postcard here from Brian to, I guess, his neighbor. What's it say? That he's with his dad and sorry he can't mow his lawn this summer. 
with my dad in Lander, Wyoming. It's pretty dad fish. A spot called Sinks Canyon. Most of Wyoming looks like home in Nebraska, but then there are some mountains and woods when you go far. I'm sorry I can't mow your lawn this summer, but I hope you found a good person to do it instead. Can you write back and tell my dad when school starts? Because I don't think he knows. Your friend and neighbor, Brian Goodwin. And also, he was worried his dad didn't know when school started. I'd say that's a lucky break if I were him. Yeah, that doesn't surprise me. Ned didn't really seem like a, you know, with it dad. There's a busted old toy out here, some sort of electronic game. Yeah? I like Pong. Everybody likes Pong. Gosh, Brian had everything he loved out there. made the place pretty comfy too that's an achievement yeah at the expense of what are probably stolen pillows that little shit hey remember that pack i found back on your second day yeah i found a plan brian drew about how he was going to get it back oh i'm sure it was quite <laughs> oh wow it's some Rope wily camera. coyote stuff i'll tell you that much pulleys and counterweights cranks This is Mark IV of the backpack uh, retrieval plan. Uh, Brian was doing a science fair project about bouncing radio waves off of a meteor shower. Poor kid left his homework? Yeah. He must have been pretty smart, huh? Yeah, sharper than a lot of the grown-up knuckleheads I'm used to, yeah. What, you're saying I'm one of those knuckleheads, is that it? I wasn't, huh? but... Um... Catch, it, catch a beating. I know lots of stuff. Oh, please, drown me in your surplus of knowledge. I've been waiting all these years for a man as wise as you to take this job. Well, that wait's over, sweetheart. Uh, call me sweetheart again, and you'll use that big sexy brain of yours to fill out your unemployment paperwork. Sorry, boss. Talking meteors. How ham radio waves can use meteors to talk to people far away. What if I told you you could use meteors in our hemisphere to talk to people far away? You would probably think I was a liar, but you would be wrong. Meteors, the alien rocks that come to our planet from outer space, can be used to bounce ham radio waves off of and let you use your radio much better than normal. Right now you are thinking, okay, Brian, this sounds like a movie, like Flight of the Navigator, but... It's not real, but you are wrong. It is real. It is science. It is possible because of meteor scatter communications. My science fair project proves that meteor scatter communications is real. But what it is. <laughs> MSC is a radio propagation mode that u utilizes ionized trails of meteors within our atmosphere. Meteors upon their atmospheric entry can create a dense path of ionized particles that the ham radio operator can use to establish brief communication paths between operators up to 1,500 miles away. It's pretty cool. I'm going to test this by having a small chat with my, a friend my dad made in the Army who lives in Albuquerque, New Mexico, 1,000 miles from my house. We are going to try to talk at a regular time, but my hypothesis is that that won't work, and we will have to wait for a meteor shower so we can establish a communication. Well, that's pretty interesting, isn't it? See? We're learning. We're still learning. All sorts of stuff playing this game. Um, I found an old school folder. Brian was a hell of a doodler. He's dribbling an eyeball, and that guy just took a shit on the floor. Um, you're dead. <laughs> that guy has a arrow through his head, and that guy's about to dunk a woman's head. And that guy's a spike ball and a sword. Nice.
What do you think is in there? There's gotta be something. Why else try to kill me? I don't know, really. I mean, we gotta find out. What do you think? Whatever it is, they don't want you telling anyone about. And they closed the door when they could have just... Bashed your head in with a rock or chopped you up with a... Are you serious with this shit right now? Uh, a hatchet. Mm -hmm. God, are you sure you want to go back in there? Honestly, I just... I just want to know. I want to know what is worth doing everything that's been done to us. Yeah, me too. And not going to jail would be a nice kicker. girls turned up. Looks like you didn't kill them. Nobody did. They took some farmer's tractor for a joyride down in Riverton and uh, landed in jail. <sighs> Dodged a bullet there. Yeah. We've got enough unanswered shit to answer for, I'd say. Oh no. Oh shit. That's where we saw the shoe. Python broke. For evidence. He's missing a shoe. Poor kid. Yeah. <laughs> 